Hey, go up video, you know, of my RCT10 Team Associated. I just did a video of showing you I had it. I put it together. I just took it apart because I had to clean it. I told you it went to be. So, it go a video of Team Associate T10, and I'll be doing some views after I get the gear fixed because I got to, you know, mesh it right because I ain't got to mesh right right now. But when I get it, I'm going to get it. So, here it go right now. It's the uh, brushless edition. Brushless, yes. And, uh, yes, uh, sit here, go. There, go right there. You see? Got the aluminum front shocks. Bring it up close for you. You know? Turn it on and on. You know, here, go. Get you back up in there. Well, don't get mad if that, that thing broke. So, it's brushless, so you see the three wires. Usually, if it wasn't brushless, it would have just these two red brushless three. This is a... This is a... 370 brushless motor. I don't know how many kV, but I just know it runs good. See when you drop it, good shocks, safe shocks, compress, upgrade aluminum, rear aluminum, front just that aluminum, front shock, a little dampening. On side. See the whole thing. Thing. <laughs> what do you think this one? Hell. Let me turn it on for you. Turn on this broke receiver. As you can see, if it seems a little jumpy, that's because I broke the antenna on here and it's not getting a good signal. So. Here you go. So you staring. There you go. I'm gonna do a couple runs around the house. By the way, I am driving with one hand. One hand driving. So Two my knobs up. 2.4 gigahertz. The reason to make that sound because the gear mesh. We're going to drop down this ledge. Oh. Let me get you a view. See that? You see that action? That That didn't go so good, but 
Here we go. We're going to just do a rev up. A rev it up. Even though it's not going to stay up there. I think the battery going dead. I was running it earlier. So hold on. Let me see if the battery went dead. It goes the this is what it sounds like and this is what it does when the battery's low. That's the that's the cutoff. It won't let you do nothing. It won't let me steer nothing. It won't let me steer nothing. Okay, now it's letting me steer. I guess a little juice got pumped back into it. Turn if you turn it back off. Turn it back on. Then light back up. See, that's telling the battery low. So I'm gonna cut it off before I destroy the battery. All right. So there we go. Shocks. You see how we're gonna drop it? Doesn't even bottom out. Maybe that's like a three foot drop. It doesn't even bottom out, so I'll be taking this thing on. Took it on a couple good ramps. Didn't break nothing yet. And, uh, oh, and I had to put some shrink wrap, you know, over this. You know, we got to keep that. So I just like putting it over there. And that's it. Once I get a new uh, receiver, I had this thing going down the street doing top speed, top speed, showing you all of my top speed everything. That car, my drift car, probably had a TC, TC4, uh, I probably had a TC4, uh, this, uh, this car right here, this is, uh, the, uh, uh, Team Associated T10. I don't know, I got that from my friends for $10. Not bad, so, um, there you go. I have my LiPo charger. You know, I charge everything on this now. I start using those little wall two-hour chargers. This right here, charge that battery, 10 minutes. My LiPo, which is 3,300 milliamps, if I run that completely dead, hour. You take two hours for nickel metal. Nickel metal, I don't use that much, but I use it. So, I use this, as you can see. I'm on my setting. Turn the light off so you can see it. Charge. Nickel metal. And you go back to menu. Press the button. And go here. And nickel metal. Lipo. Program. You can program and you can set user. See, you can set like B type. Lipo input power low cut off. Key beeper on and off. You go press that and let it load data. You can load whatever one like. If you go to load data, you go to save, or you can press load, load data, 